Hey guys, Nikki here with Backyard Politics. I'm down at the Oregon State Capitol right now. Uh, let me see if I can show you. You can kind of see it there. Um, I was down here on Saturday night and uh, there was a march that was supposed to be taking place and there was like 3,000 people here, I think it was. I came down here with my daughters and my husband and I was followed the entire time by a really gigantic SPD officer. Um, he and Chief Jerry Moore and then one other officer, they all huddled like maybe seven, eight feet away from me and my family and were staring at me, talking about me. And then I stared them down back because they're not going to fucking intimidate me. I'm here for equality um, and to let people know what's going on. So then the the giant guy, the bigger of the three, he uh, he's a big... I don't fat shame people, but he's a pig. He's a fat fucking pig who was following me around the entire event. And uh, it was nothing but a giant photo op and a PR stunt by Salem Police Department. And I am thoroughly disgusted at how they acted. Uh, apparently, Salem Police Department got up there. Jerry Moore got up there. They all gave speeches. They were handing out water, and I appreciate and acknowledge the fact that uh, people want to work together. That's awesome. But literally the day after, Jerry Moore came out with a statement that was not only written, it was read through, approved, read on air, recorded, not edited, and then handed out to the public where he justified siding with the Proud Boys they can fuck off, okay? And then all of the white people here, not all, I should say most, most of the white people that were here at the march instead of a protest, acted like it was some kind of fucking accomplishment chanting, uh, fix 12. No, fuck 12, okay? Fuck 12, uh, eight can't wait, this is bullshit. I have zero criminal record. The only thing I have, uh, is maybe some traffic, traffic tickets, maybe, if those are even still on my record, I have zero record whatsoever. I'm five foot two. Give me a break. There's no reason that I should have had a fucking officer tailing me through the whole goddamn event. It's ridiculous. Um, there is another march coming up on the 13th, and I was I asked the event organizer if this was going to be an actual protest march instead of a PR stunt by Salem PD, because I really wanted to attend it. Then that organizer said uh, that we're only here to amplify the black voices. So yes, Salem Police Department would be there. Does that make any fucking sense to anybody else? Because it doesn't to me. And I said, I amplify the, the people of color's voices every fucking day. I have a podcast here. I share shit all over social media. I've been at protests, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been at protests. I've been fighting for the people of color. I've been fighting for equality. I've been fighting for the poor. I've been fighting my fucking ass off. And I'm not going to stand down here with a bunch of white asses who think that they are accomplishing something by standing for fucking pictures with the Salem Police Department. Give me a goddamn break. So... Every morning that I can, I'm going to come down to this to the Capitol. I don't live very far. And uh, I'm going to hold up a sign and, uh, you know, just protest on my own because it needs to happen. And as I'm filming this right now, there's two cops that are uh, driving by. So, anyway, it needs to be exposed. We are we're pushing for change. We're not pushing for pictures. So... Anybody that wants to join me, I encourage you to come down here in the mornings. We all need to take shifts and relieve each other. Um, it's a lot to take on. And uh, I'm also looking at going to some protests in Portland or surrounding areas. The only problem is, again, I have kids and I can't take them. So um, we'll see where that goes. But for now, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to be in Salem at the Capitol every morning that I can, protesting on my own if I have to. I will not be a part of any more of these bullshit photo op marches. I'm a protester and I'm fighting for change. I encourage all of you to join me. And as much as any of you might think that I'm being negative, no, I've actually known a lot of these people, including Jerry Moore, my entire life. Okay? I have, I've had, 
I've had them help me. I've been to barbecues at their houses as a child. There are ties here that I cannot get into for fear of retaliation, uh, fear of lawsuits, etc. But I know these people. And just because they're nice to me does not mean, and they're nice to the white people here, does not mean that they actually give a shit, all right? That's cool that you want to call them your friends. They might be great people to you, but are they just as good a people to the people of color that they're arresting? I highly doubt it. Are they just as good to the people that they did not apologize for or apologize to when they were siding with the fucking Proud Boys and Lindsey Graham, the fucking racists that were going to run out of town? I don't think so. So I'm going to fight for change. I encourage you guys to do the same wherever you live. If you live in Salem, come join me. I'd love to meet some of you. Um, yeah, anyway, with that being said, I hope you all have a great day. I'll get some more podcast videos up soon. Um, I love you all. Fight for change. It can't wait. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos. And until next time, power to the people. Medicare be with you.